7 News is on your side, covering Montgomery County now, where tonight a seven-year-old girl is recovering after police say a driver went around a school bus and hit the student with their car. And keep in mind, this happened in the first week of school in that district. Our Kevin Lewis joining us live tonight near the scene with the very latest on the girl's condition. And also, Kevin, did the driver stop in this case? Yes, John, and that is the one good thing that the driver did in this case. The seven-year-old girl was taken to Children's National Hospital in D.C. Police describing her injuries as serious, but say she is expected to survive. The stop arm on the bus was activated. On what was only the second day of school, a driver hit and seriously injured a seven-year-old Montgomery County Public Schools student. It happened in this apartment complex along Walker's Choice Road in Montgomery Village. The bus had stopped to let students off of the bus. Montgomery County Police tell 7 News the female driver who lives in this neighborhood ignored the flashing stop arms, crossed this double yellow line, and drove by the bus, hitting the girl in the process. There is never an excuse to pass a stop school bus when its red flashing lights are on. Uh, if you're in a hurry, uh, you know, we all have places to go, but you have to think about what if that was your child on that bus? School is back in session, and that means school buses are back on the roads. On Monday, the department published this video of Police Chief Marcus Jones providing school bus safety tips. Passing a bus with its stop arms extended in Montgomery County will result in a $250 fine. If you go around a school bus, if you pass a school bus that has stopped with its red flashing lights, uh, there are cameras and uh, they will capture your, your license plate and you will receive a citation. There is no getting away with it. The driver is in her early 40s. Police have filed around 14 different traffic citations against that woman. The investigation is very open and fluid and at this point no criminal charges have been filed. We're live in Montgomery Village tonight. I'm Kevin Lewis. 7 News. And the lawsuits will follow as well. Kevin, thanks.